Lee Soo Yuk is popular for his roles in several dramas that establish him as a tough and masculine guy. The model actor is a favorite model of high fashion designers because he has that strange yet beguiling look that makes anything he wears look good and interesting. His impeccable fashion sense has made him a fashion icon among the Korean youth. After playing mysterious characters and villains, his strong features made him perfect to play one of the lead characters in Tomorrow. Here are 10 interesting facts you might not know about Isu Yak. Family. Isu Yak was born on May 31, 1988, in Gwacheon, South Korea. His family is composed of his parents and a four years younger sister. Due to age differences, he hasn't had the chance to get very close with his sister, but he has been trying to be more considerate to her for the past few years. He also said in an interview that his parents are very supportive of him doing his hobbies, such as taekwondo, swimming, and skating. He started out as a model. Lee Soo Yuk first started out as a model in 2006, before he took to the acting scene. With his angled face and powerful expressions, he has even graced the pages of known magazines like GQ, Vogue, and Marie Claire Korea. In 2013, he strutted the runways at London and Paris Fashion Weeks, where he donned the designs of brands such as J.W. Anderson, June J., and Balenciaga. Being in such a renowned event was also an honor for him, since he was the only Korean model, among other nationalities, for the Balenciaga show at the time. The model actor was given the Best Dresser Award twice at the Korea Best Dresser Awards in 2008 and 2014. He also received the Best New Model Award at the 2007 Korea Fashion Photographers Association. He dreamed of becoming an actor since he was young. Although he started his career as a model, Lee Soo Yuk has dreamed of becoming an actor since he was young. In an interview with Showbiz Korea, he shared, it's because I used to be a model, so there are people who see me differently, but I dreamed of becoming an actor since I was young. I really wanted to do it, and these days, I'm more confident and want to be acknowledged by many as a good actor. So, I just want to excel in it. His personality is far from the serious roles he usually plays. While he often plays brooding characters, like a vampire and scholar who walks the night, or a conservative grim reaper in Tomorrow, his personality is so different from the lives he has played on screen. He said, I'm not really a serious, cold, and cool type. I'm just a man who likes watching films and hanging out with his friends. Rather than a heavy atmosphere, I prefer a refreshing mood. I hope the people who know me think of me as a refreshing, bright, and optimistic person. He did variety of shows to broaden his character options in dramas. In the past, there were only opportunities for Isu Yuk to play a character in a fantasy or an unrealistic figure. That's why he thought a lot about how to broaden his character options. Having a fixed image, since he often plays cold-hearted and cool characters, he expressed his desire to play comical or disheveled characters because the viewers can also feel more comfortable. He shared that he wanted to show a different side of himself by appearing on variety shows. He told Esquire, sometimes it feels like I am distant from the general public because of my image, but recently I appeared on variety shows and showed a more natural side of myself. Cha Juik is the most humane character he's ever played. Cha Juik was Lee Soo Yuk's character in the 2021 drama Doom at Your Service, an employee at the editing office of a web novel publishing company called Life Story. He was caught in a love triangle with a web novelist and a cafe owner. Asked what impression Doom at Your Service would leave on him, the model actor replied, I think that Cha Juik was the most plain and humane character that I've ever played. I've played characters who weren't even human, often strong and powerful characters. I've always wanted to expand the type of characters I could play and show more diverse sides of myself, so I think that's why Doom at Your Service will be particularly meaningful for me. He inspired Jong Keong to try a modeling career. In 2020, Lee Soo Yuk starred in the KBS2 drama Born Again alongside model-turned-actor Jong Keong. It tells a mystery melodrama about a detective, the detective's lover, and a serial killer, whose fates remain entwined even after their reincarnation into different lives. Jong Keong shared in an old interview that he had dreamed of becoming a model after seeing Lee Soo Yuk on the runway, so it was a big deal for him that they worked together on the same production. He added to Esquire, it holds a special meaning to work together as an actor with someone who you wanted to be like. He can play the flute and the piano. During a personal interview with his agency, YG Stage, he shared that as a child, he took on various pursuits in art, music, and sports, with the support of his parents. 
He even mentioned that he can play the flute and piano. But sadly, the chances of him being near the two instruments is low. Nevertheless, he added, I learned a lot when I was young. Though I'm not that good, those experiences helped a lot in my life as an actor. One of his favorite hobbies is building Legos. Speaking of his fun and laid-back personality in an interview with W Korea, he shared that one of his favorite hobbies is actually building Legos. He also mentioned that he loves anything that you can make and assemble with your hands, like a sculpture. For this talented model actor, it's clear that his creativity and talent are more than what we see on camera and on the runway. His military duty. On August 10, 2017, Lee Soo Yuk began his mandatory military service. After training at the center for four weeks, he served the rest of his military duty as a public service worker. He was discharged from the army on August 9, 2019.